Hi guys. I heard that there's a toilet paper crisis. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Apparently due to something that's going around globally, there's a toilet paper crisis. People are buying toilet paper. Don't ask why. Maybe the mentality of world plague, zombie apocalypse, storm, whatever, causes people to go out to buy toilet paper, eggs, bread, milk. I don't know why. I'm here to tell you, don't bother buying the toilet paper. Instead, I'm gonna show you something super simple that can help get you through a time like this. It involves essential oils. Why? Why use essential oils? And what are essential oils? Essential oils are made from plants. They are the immune system of a plant. It can come from rinds of fruits, bark of trees, roots, stems, leaves, flowers, any parts of plants. Um, different oils are from different parts. But basically like when you squeeze the rind of a lemon and you see that little oil come out, that's essential oil. Um, quality companies get it from steam distilling the parts of the plant and all that hot water and steam that goes through makes a bunch of water and oil particles that get collected, recondensed, and the oil floats to the surface of the water, and that oil is used and bottled, sent to you to help you. Why does essential oil help you? It's the immune system of the plant made up of different terpenes. It can get very scientific and technical. I'm gonna keep it very simple and let you know that the terpenes in your own system and the immune system you have works with the terpenes of a plant system. So your body recognizes these natural components as they come in nature and help boost you by using them. So anyways, we're gonna take a recycled bottle here. I like to, this one has the label on still. You can peel the label off and add your own label. This label stuck on pretty good. I leave it because it adheres and I can add a label right on top of it. But we're gonna make a little something to help through this toilet paper crisis. <laughs> um, and why is it important to use a quality brand essential oil? Because a lot of oils out there are made by using chemicals to extract more out of the plant. And right now, um, the way the labeling system is in the United States, we can have an essential oil that's labeled 100% pure, and it can be as little as 5% actual essential oil. The rest can be that water that comes from the distillation process, or hexane, or other chemicals that are used in the process. So this kind of defeats the whole point. The whole point is to do something that's healthy for your system. If you're adding a chemical or something that's not what it's supposed to be, you're not helping your system. So quality is important. Because the labeling in the system is not great, we have to go with a company that we know they're 100% quality because they're 100% transparent. They invite us to their labs to watch the testing. They invite us to their farms to talk to the workers, to talk to the people to see the process, and that's the only way you'd really know. Um, I use Young Living because they do just that. So today we're gonna make a roller that you can put on your hands. Another thing that's been selling off the shelves out there is hand sanitizer. Let's talk about hand sanitizer for just a minute. Most hand sanitizer is alcohol gel or up to 90% alcohol. Alcohol, when you put it on your skin, it dries out the surface of your skin and that's what is supposed to kill most of the germs. Um, it also dries out your outer layer of skin causing micro cracking. So even though it might wipe out most of what's on there, you still have a chance of small bits of it surviving and you touch your face and that's how you get it inside of you. But that cracking is a problem that makes your skin susceptible to um, absorbing all kinds of things that you might touch. Um, moisturized, strong, healthy, stretchy skin is gonna be the best protectant against any kind of um, germ or other thing out there. So keeping our skin healthy is like the best way that we can um, protect ourselves and hand washing frequently, of course. So today we're gonna make a roller that starts with a carrier oil. I'm simply using grapeseed in this video. You can use whatever works best for you and your skin. You can test it by putting a small amount on your hands and waiting a day and seeing how it reacts and if your skin likes it. 
Um, you can use coconut oil. Um, grape grapeseed's pretty good because if you have any kind of nut allergy or anything like that, this is this doesn't fall into that category of nuts. Um, so it's a pretty good one. Um, we're gonna add several drops. This is a 15 milliliter bottle, and we're gonna make a strong strength. So I'm gonna put about 30 drops of essential oil in here. The basic oils that we're gonna use are gonna be peppermint, lavender, and lemon. These are some basic oils that if you ever decide to become a member with Young Living and you get started with this lifestyle of um, healthy living, these are some of the basic ones that they put in what they call their starter kit because it's basic tools that everybody should have without even having to think about which oils to get. They put that all together for you so you can get started with simple things just like we're doing today. So I'm gonna go ahead and use um, 10 drops of each. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the lavender. Lemon, same thing, ten drops, super easy, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And peppermint. You can look these up. There's not a lot I can say, um, even though we're really lousy with what we can put in our products and our labeling system in this country. Um, there are certain agencies that protect their money-making abilities quite greatly by limiting what any homeopathic remedy is allowed to say. But if you look up lavender, lemon, and peppermint, some pretty awesome um, capabilities there. Here goes the peppermint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. And a couple of other oils. If you ever want to go outside the kit, I know some of you already love and use your oils and have um, a whole arsenal of different ones. Some super powerful other ones that you can add if you would like to is Exodus. Exodus is a oil that there's actually, if you go to the Bible and read Exodus, way back then even they were using essential oils and you can imagine um, the stuff that was going around back then, right? I mean, we're talking about the time of animal sacrifices and viral diseases going around, plagues, um, all different kinds of things. And this recipe was actually given to help protect people. Um, and there's some really cool oils in here. Um, Cajun and myrrh and galbanum and um, cinnamon and just some beautiful oils. And Young Living puts that together for us so we don't even have to think about that recipe and what's in it, it's already blended. But bottom line, this is like a super duper awesome thing. If you're going out into the world and you're going to be touching things with your hands, might want something that they were using way back then. And I'm just going to put a few drops of this in. It's a, it's a nice, powerful oil. And so I'd say two or three will do the trick because we also already have all those other beautiful oils. And tea tree. We also can look up tea tree, but tea tree is used for all kinds of things. Feet. Um, it's a generally fairly safe one for skin. All right, so now that I have all those drops of oil in there, I'm gonna top it up with our carrier oil, which as I explained is grape seed in this case. You can use whatever you like. There you go. Now Young Living sells these beautiful little metal roller bottles that are super high quality. Um, and they come in a pack of 10 for very inexpensive and I'm just going to pop one of those on there and screw it on tight to secure it in place. Give it a good shake. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Smells amazing. We roll this on our hands before we go into a store. We roll it onto one hand and then I put the lid on and tuck it back in my purse and cover my hands with it so that my hands are moisturized. Any little micro cracks that are in the skin are now filled with this beautiful oil and protected. Then I touch different things throughout the store, touch the cash register, the doorknobs, the money, all the things that everybody touches, the bathroom if you have to use it. Um, and then, you know, when we come out, we usually will wipe our hands or wash our hands when we get home. Or if we were doing multiple stores, we might wash our hands in between and reapply. And we've gone through our day like that. We went to Chinatown last week. <laughs> People thought we were nuts. Um, I wasn't afraid. I know we have our oils. I know we wash our hands. We do all the practices, use all the oils, and uh, it's all good. So if you're interested in me mailing you this little bottle of um, hand-protecting roller, 
then uh, give me a shout out. Message me on here. Let me know you're interested. See if I can hook you up. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you today. <laughs>